everyone, in this lecture, we're gonna be talking about the one-way ANOVA test. Now, the one-way ANOVA test is probably the most important test that you can learn because it is literally just like a generalized N sample T test. And let me explain what I mean by that. Now, we've learned about the one sample T test. We've learned about the two sample T tests. But what about the three sample T tests? Well, turns out that the ANOVA will help us solve those problems. The ANOVA will work for any number of samples. Again, so long as these samples are independent of each other. So that's also really important. And so what do I mean by N samples? Like, where is this useful for? For example, let's say you have four different teaching methodologies. And we're going to call this treatment one, treatment two, treatment three and treatment four. And you want to know, does your uh, teaching methodology influence uh, the results of a certain test? And so you have four independent samples and you have four different teaching methodologies. And you want to know, does teaching methodology in general influence test scores? Now, you're either going to get a yes or a no. If you get a no, that just means they're all basically more or less the same teaching methodologies. If you get a yes, however, that means that in general, these teaching methodologies are different from each other, meaning that maybe treatment one, treatment two, treatment three, and treatment four are all super different from each other. These don't equal, these don't equal, these don't equal. When it comes to these two, those don't equal, um, these don't equal, these don't equal. That could be the case, but the ANOVA test doesn't guarantee us that they're all in general not equal. It could be just that T1 and T2 are so not equal that it influences the ANOVA test to suggest that the treatment groups in general are far apart from each other. It's in a way uh, determining the standard deviation amongst the different samples. And it's determining, is that standard deviation really, really high? Now, it's not exactly standard deviation. It's, uh, it's just determining, is there a difference in variation amongst the different groups? And so the question being asked is, does my teaching methodology influence test scores? The answer, if the answer is yes, then that's as far as you can go. You can't say, oh, so it was, it was teaching methodology one, wasn't it? You can't say that. Or maybe I knew it. Teaching methodology two and teaching methodology three were different from each other. You can't even say, oh, all four of them are significantly different from each other. You can't say that. You just know that there's some variability amongst the groups. You just don't know where. And that's what the ANOVA test is useful for. Now, I've always gotten this really good question. What if you have two samples, a control group and a treatment group? Do you use the two sample t-test or do you use the ANOVA test? And it turns out the answer is it doesn't matter because the results are literally going to be exactly the same thing. So when it comes to two samples, the ANOVA test is the same thing as the two sample independent t-test. Again, ANOVA doesn't use, they don't use, those tests, that test does not use T-scores. They use the F ratio, uh, which you don't really need to uh, worry too much about in typical statistics classes. But the idea is that the results, the P-values, are going to be exactly identical at the end of both tests. If you get a P-value of 0 0.03 here, you're going to get a P-value of 0 0.03 over here, meaning reject the uh, null hypothesis and suggest that these two groups are significantly different from each other. And so in a way, you really didn't need to learn the two sample t-test because the ANOVA is just a generalized version of that. That works for any number of samples, so long as you have at least two samples. Anyways, in the next lecture, we're gonna go over an example of the ANOVA test, and we're gonna talk about how to conduct an ANOVA test on your calculator. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next lecture.